Hi everyone, I hope that you're well. This is a video for women and it's about progesterone. I'm making this video because I feel really strongly about women's health and also I'm very passionate about natural health. Also, as a woman, I've struggled with my own female health problems and I've also been on a journey to balance my hormones and finding the best way to do that, especially naturally. Um, so I'm hoping that my video will be helpful to you and reach out to the women that need it. So having hormone imbalances can cause so many problems with our body mentally and physically. And there are some ways to see if you have a progesterone deficiency. Of course, you can have um, hormone tests. Some are more accurate than others. But if you are suffering from um, menstrual and menopausal symptoms, um, then progesterone uh, deficiency um, might be something that you want to look at. So let's go to the menstrual cycle. Um, so if you have any issues with a long period, over 28 days, a short period, under 28 days, spotting, painful periods, um, heavy periods, if you have PCOS or if you have endometriosis, you um, could possibly well benefit from having more progesterone uh, balance in your system. Um, also, if you're going through the menopause, um, you will most likely need to have uh, more progesterone in your body due to um, you know, estrogen and progesterone levels changing dramatically. If you are a woman who is looking to conceive or you're having problems to conceive, you will need to get your progesterone levels checked. Um, and um, this will, uh, progesterone basically helps keep the, the lining of the womb healthy. And without that healthy lining, um, the egg cannot uh, basically stay um, in the lining where it needs to be. It needs a nice comfortable lining to stay in. Um, so that is something that's very important as well. If you are suffering from um, uh, adult acne, um, if you are suffering from brittle and breaking peeling nails, um, prematurely sagging skin or hair that is breaking, it can be a sign of progesterone deficiency. As well as um, low mood, depression, um, premenstrual tension can also be a sign of uh, progesterone problems. And finally, if you are um, putting on weight, especially around your center and you find it really hard to lose, um, progesterone uh, plays a role in how we, uh, how our metabolism works and so on. So um, why might we have problems with progesterone and why is this getting more and more common? I mean, I personally know a lot of women that seem to be struggling with their hormones right now. And um, there are many reasons for that. Um, one uh, main reason is the environment that we live in. Um, there are so many um, toxins in our food, in our cosmetics, in our cleaning products that mimic estrogen. They mimic estrogen and then that changes the hormone balance within us and affect, affects progesterone levels. So it's really important to um, get rid of these chemicals in your life um, that are causing that. For example, um, getting more natural organic products to eat and use on your skin and also thinking about the cleaning products that you use as well. Uh, another reason for um, progesterone deficiency is stress. Um, stress affects your cortisol levels, which again affects uh, progesterone. And it's not easy to um, be stress-free. And sometimes the more you think about stress, the more stressed you get. But if you are struggling, then definitely try to find ways to reduce your stress. It could be through meditation, um, through sleeping better, through relaxation, um, through exercise, any way just to... Um, help you to to be less stressed is a, is a great way to balance your body and thirdly um one other area is over exercising um now it's getting more and more popular for people to do exercise and some exercise is very intense and that can actually really make your hormones out of balance so it's about doing um a exercise routine that is 
obviously it's important to exercise, but you're not over exercising, you're not doing over a high intensity all the time. Um, so also to keep those hormones in balance. There are some natural ways that can really help and benefit you to balance your progesterone. And um, one of them is this uh, wild yam cream. This is one of the best wild, wild yam creams that are out there. This is called Anna's Wild Yam Cream. It is expensive, it's 50 pounds. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, but really, um, this is a wonderful cream. You just need to look at, um, sorry, my doorbell is ringing, hold on. <laughs> sorry, I just had to pause that video, I had a delivery. Anyway, yes, yeah, so Wild, uh, Anna's Wild Yam Cream. Um, look at uh, their website for their reviews. They have really incredible reviews. Um, women who've been struggling to conceive, have got uh, pregnant, uh, women who've been struggling with endometriosis, women, women who've been struggling with the menopause. Um, this is really a magic cream. I've been using it and already after one month of using it, I've seen a, a massive difference in my skin. Um, my skin is so much more healthy and I, I didn't have um, my usual um, crazy moves before my period. So I really, really, really recommend this. Um, another amazing herb is um, Agnes Castus, and um, this is a great hormone balancer for women. I take um, the tincture, which is the liquid form because it gets quicker into the body. You don't have to try and dissolve uh, the capsules. And of course, then it's suitable for vegans and vegetarians. And it actually is a herb that tastes nice. It tastes like flowers. It's a pleasure to take. And this is another wonderful way of balancing your, your, your hormones. Um, and another uh, great way um, of balancing your hormones is making sure you have enough fat in your diet, especially like evening primrose oil, uh, flaxseed oil, enough omega-3 um, in your diet um, because it's the oils, it's the fats that carry hormones. So we need to have a really good balance of healthy fats in the diet. There are loads of um, herbs that are great for female health. Um, there are so many. I'm not a herbalist though, so I'm not going to talk about all the different herbs. I will leave that to the experts of the herbalists, but I will say um, to please do your research. Go and reach out to herbalists. There are some excellent ones out there. Um, and, um, you know, don't, don't give up with finding solutions uh, for, for your discomfort um, and don't put up with feeling um, less than great. Um, we as women put up with so much pain sometimes and so much um, problems with mood and we just sort of take that as being normal um, and yes it is normal we do have hormone fluctuations but it's not nice to feel like that and um, you know it's it's always nice nicer to feel calmer and balanced in your body and so I really recommend that if you struggle with with mood or you struggle with any of these things, then please go and search some for some natural um, health alternatives because they will give your system a boost and they'll make you feel radiant. I already feel that I look different from balancing uh, my hormones. I feel more radiant and happy inside. So I really hope that this inspires you to, to do something and to take action. And yeah, definitely... Um, if you if you feel that you have a, a progesterone deficiency, this wild yam cream, it's a natural progesterone. Okay, just get it and see how you go. It's worth a try. Um, it's not going to do you any harm. All right, have a good day. Bye.